Yes, good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my next in a series of uh, my tutorials uh, for creating aircraft in 3D Studio Max. Uh, today is going to be a fairly simple tutorial uh, in creating a wing. Uh, basically, a uh, wing is a very simple shape, but obviously there's some things you got to do to it to make it look like a wing does on an actual aircraft. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to work in our left view uh, to start with, and that will, will draw our basic shape in there. And that is simply go up to create, to shapes, and then line. Now under line you've got to make a couple of selections to make it look like an actual wing. You've got to have initial type to smooth, drag type to bezier. Go into your left uh, viewport, click your start point, go to the next point here, which will be straight, click there. Now make a nice, now you can make your, your wing as uh, thick or as thin as you want. Let's just make it a nice medium thing there come down to approximately halfway and then go back to the start point and it'll ask you if you want to close your spline and you go yes. So now as you can see we've got a very basic wing shape on the go. But of course obviously it has no depth uh, as at this point it's only a two dimensional object. So in that case you would go to modify and go to extrude. Now in my case here I've got it extruded out quite a bit already. In your case you probably won't. Uh, so all you basically do in this case is select a mount move your mouse up and down to select the, uh, the width of your wing. So we'll just select it right about there. And now, as you can see, we've got a fairly nice little uh, wing shape. Uh, obviously, there's some things we've got to do to this because wings don't actually look like this in real life. This is the basic shape, uh, but there's some things you've got to do to it. Uh, one of the first things, of course, we want to do is taper it. By tapering, I mean making the tip of the wing narrower than the base of the wing. Uh, you could make it thicker, of course. Maybe some wings are like that. For the most part, they're tapered, uh, going thinner from uh, base to tip. So in that case, you go to the Modify list, come on down and find Taper. Uh, so now we're going to taper it, and basically what we do is we select the taper axis being Z and the effect being on the X and Y. Now you can play around with these just to see the different effects you get, but for wings, uh, this is basically what you need. Then what you do is basically change the amount of taper. So in this case, we'll, we'll taper it uh, right about there. And as you can see, now we have a tip that's narrower than the base. Now, most wings, of course, once again, don't exactly look like this either, uh, because most of them will, will uh, sweep backwards. So in this case, we don't actually have a sweep command, but we do have a skew command. Now, in this case here, we select the skew axis being Z, and you skew the amount and as you can see it's now going to skew backwards. So now what we've got is you can see the base is not moving but the tip is and so now we've got a nice swept wing design. And that's basically what uh, you know you can now what you're going to do in this case is you're going to play around with this uh, quite a bit because if you've got a, a, uh, a reference drawing you're going to be looking at it from the top uh, from the top from the front and from the side uh, to verify it's going to look exactly like your reference drawing. But you can simply adjust taper skew to get it to look like. Now the other one you're going to have in a real aircraft it's actually called dihedral and that's basically is how far above or below the tip is with relationship to the base right here. And in our case we don't have a dihedral but we do have a bend. Now what we're going to do in this case is we're going to select Z our angle though is going to be 90 degrees and we're going to change our angle change and we're going to make the tip up a little bit. So that's basically, now that's probably uh, a little bit gross, a little bit far, but once again you just adjust that to your reference drawing. And at any time of course within 3D Studio Max you can go back to the taper and you can change your taper a bit. Uh, let's say it's, oh no, my, my reference drawing says it's thinner. And you can adjust the skew and go, oh, no, my skew is quite a bit more. Oh, and i got to change my bend to be a bit less. There you go. So that's basically how you do a wing. Now, as you can see, that's a, you know, a fairly very basic wing. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to know to do a, dec a decent looking wing. Now, if I zoom right in on this and uh, look at the tip of it, you can see that the shape is fairly nice. So that's pretty much about it for how to do a wing in 3D Studio Max. Uh, have a nice day.